living donor kidney transplant, um, as the name implies, happens uh, between two people, um, usually someone that has a connection uh, to the person that they're donating to. Um, and it's an operation where both, both procedures take place on the same day at the same time. Uh, one person donates one of their kidneys to the other. Um, all of us have two kidneys. So we know, again, from many years of practice now, that um, a normal human being can live just perfectly well on one kidney and have a completely normal life. Um, and um, uh, that's what allows us to perform this operation. When people are evaluated for being a living donor, it's a very extensive uh, process. Um, even though we want to help the person that needs the kidney, when it comes to living donation, our very first uh, directive is to protect the donor. We don't want to put someone who's in having an otherwise normal life and make them sick from doing this. So in that regard, the donors undergo the best medical evaluation of their life. Um, and they're evaluated not only for any potential short-term medical risk, but also for any long-term medical risk. And in addition, they go through a comprehensive social evaluation so that we know that they understand what they're doing, they understand what the implications may be in the future, and that, more importantly, that it fits within their life. Um, I think because we've practiced living donation in this very comprehensive way, in this way, really uh, very protective way for the donor, that's probably been, in my mind, the main reason why it's succeeded so well over the years. Um, and that's what makes it such a viable option in transplantation today.